It's already a Thursday edition. You know, I am fired up today. You know why? We What's have a up? new coffee maker. Oh! Hey, I'm drinking the last official pot out of the old moldy. I don't know if I'm gonna like coffee with that mold in it. Rather than just doing the maintenance on this coffee maker and keeping it clean, we go to the point that becomes so disgusting we're afraid to drink out of it. Right over there's the new one, but it's not set up yet, and this has coffee. I'm willing to just take my chances because I need caffeine. What's going on? We need to do a little cleaning. We need to do a little cleaning. Talking about shelf space. We don't need that blender. Ain't nobody blended nothing. Ain't nobody been blending nothing? Ain't nobody. <laughs> ain't nobody. Blent anything. <laughs> Thank you for giving us life to begin with. What do you want for breakfast, Adler? Oh, uh, let me get a poop sandwich. Rick and Bubba Show. How you doing? This is Greg. I'm good. How are you doing? Uh huh. All right. Okay. All right. You like me, don't you? I hear you. I love you too. Healthcare plan will take 23 million off insurance or whatever. Which, again, how many is going to be taken off if they leave it like it is? So you don't you don't hear that. Part. Huge confession here. Didn't know. That was a cover. Bruce wrote that and put it on his first album he ever released. Greetings from Ashbury Park. Bruce didn't have a hit with it, he just had it on the album. Well, Man For Man, you know, used him as a songwriter and they released it and made a huge hit with it. What's your favorite cover, would you say, Rick? Oh gosh, that's so hard. There's so many great ones out there. Probably the one that, that uh, I mean, if I'm just sticking to the time I'm in right now, not of all time, but um, I would think right now my favorite cover is I Get By With Some Little Help From My Friends by Joe Cocker. I like his version better than the Beatles version. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you worry I'll be alone? And then he goes, no, no. I expected you to actually know the lyrics of the background part. My favorite cover is, uh, it's a quilt that my mom made one time. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite cover song, uh, it, you really got me Van Halen of the Kinks. You're going to laugh at this one. Come on, feel the noise, quite right. That's a cover of Slade. That's a cover? What's your favorite cover song? Do you know what a cover song is? I'm not stupid. I didn't say you're stupid. I didn't say you, you were stupid. You insinuated that. I don't know what insinuate means. Look, there's a ton of covers out there. Anybody that covers Hold On by Wilson Phillips, because I love that song. Hold on for one more day. Gonna make you want to turn around and say goodbye. Oh, Tell them, wow. baby, are you gonna let them hold you down and make you cry? Oh, don't you know, no. Don't you know? Things will change. Things will go your way if you hold on for one, one more day. Hear what the, the what the Pope said to Melania Rick. He asked her if if she had been making. Basically, it was an Italian name for a fancy spaghetti. If she'd been feeding Trump too much of that, and the people were going, did he just call Trump fat? You know, she can speak. Oh, how many languages? She was able to communicate with the locals and. and well. I'll give you that. I mean, I'm impressed with six languages. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I actually got uh, I got yelled at for dressing as an Indian. 
Did uh, you really? Halloween one year, yep. I had like a headdress on and stuff, and and uh, people got mad at me. If we're gonna play this game, then I'm gonna start looking for things that should be white people, white people only, like Gatlinburg. What's like your big idea that you had that somebody, you then you saw somebody touch? Oh, I've to told it. you that a thousand times. I came up with the snake light way before it came out. I was changing a tire and I had a flashlight in my mouth and I thought, you know, if you could get a light that you could somehow mow, you know, bend and, and then I just never thought about it again. I look and here come the snake light. Dang. Yeah. I had an idea for, um, you remember those Spider-Man blasters that shoot silly string? I had an idea for that, and then I was. And that's our chance. I had an idea for boy bands before there ever was a new kids on the block. I wouldn't have admitted I would, that. I was about to say the same I thing. I would not have admitted that. That doesn't look real, y'all. That doesn't look real. That looks like a comedy bit. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but everybody who's doing it looks exactly like I thought they were. <laughs> this would be like men in their 20s thinking that they're an engineer because they play with Thomas the Tank Engine. Exactly. And I like yeah, your fingernails. Those are cool. Let me see. He's got them all painted up. Your daddy's got his like that. See, this is the thing that people don't understand. We got the guy with the Joker. He's way too old. He's still living with his mama. Okay, if you're still living with mama, then the only way you have tattoos, the only way you buy Smith & Wesson without a permit is money that you got from your mom. So, and people think that's love to let somebody just keep laying around on your couch and act like a fool, that's not love. So I moved back into my parents' house after college and the very first morning, 7.30, my dad wakes my butt up <laughs> and he says, kids that don't have jobs don't sleep past 7.30. Oh, that's a good, that's a good dad. See, All right. see if your dad had just let you get up when you wanted to and do what you want to do, then they didn't really love you. It's kind of like when Greg quit college and he was told either find a job or go in the military. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. Found a job. <laughs> well, those are some good looking tattoos though, guys. Wow. This is my son. He looks like the Joker. He, he, he really likes the movie, uh, Dark Knight Batman. Hey Rick, if you had to get a tattoo and it's gotta be as big as your hand. What? What, you have to do it. Otherwise. Well, what, what's gonna happen to you? Otherwise me? you'll die, I don't know. Okay. okay. I have to get one. Can I tell you the one thing I've always been intrigued in? I don't know if this qualifies as big as the hand. For some reason, I love the bob wire around the bicep. Sure. You know, I, I, I think I'm a bob wire around the bicep guy. <laughs> I think you are too. <laughs> Greg, all right, you have to get a tattoo. It's got to be as big as your hand. What is it? How big? What, what is it? Where is it? Oh, there it there is. There it is. That's perfect. Probably that. Or Roy Orbison. But what Mama don't know. Won't hurt her. Well, I have a lot of places I could hide a tattoo that big that nobody would ever see, but uh, you know a cross I think would be nice. Yeah, if I had to get a tattoo, I'd, I'd probably get, I'd actually, I've actually already gotten one. Where'd you get one? Uh, yeah, hey, I got one right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. About like I love a good case of jock age. <laughs>